life at 80. Now, life can be pretty good. Life can be happy, full of positivity and good things in it. Um, you know, your emotions can be strong and uh, you can be going along well in life at times. And one of the keys to that is to find a, a develop a devotion to principles of life and things which are positive and strong and keep at it with them. And slowly and steadily, once you're consistent with positive energy life principles, it grows and you get stronger and more lively. So something like uh, Genesis 1, where it calls the world good all the time. So if we know that the world is good, so if we concentrate on Genesis 1, we build up strength of knowledge that the world is good. The rest of the Rainbow Torah deals with issues which give us the strength to understand those principles properly and cope with this life. There's other principles which give us life wisdom in the Rainbow Torah. So studying Torah is a good way to build up positivity, staying happy and staying focused. Now li listening to good, positive, happy, joyful music is a good way to go over and over again and strengthen your devotion to that positive, happy, joyful music and keep at it. Smile. Keep a, keep stiff up, stiff up a little, uh, uh, keep your chin up and go on with life and be positive and be happy and get on with it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, Taylor Swift, marry me, babe. We'll, ha uh, we'll have ten children. These are names of the ten children. The first one's name is Caledon. The second one's name is Schlander. She's a girl. That's all I got. <laughs> and, uh, or maybe uh, Alison and Thomas. We'll have Alison also and Thomas. And Mary and Andrea. And uh, Cyril and Scott. <laughs> there you go, there they are. Not quite ten. How's your father? 